god <laughs> today was hectic just made it from the apple store guys and i'm trying to push this video out for you but today we have all the iphone 15 pro models inside here in all the different colorways just in case you don't know which one to get so we have the blue titanium which i've seen today it looks pretty nice we have the black titanium we have the natural titanium i was calling this neutral titanium all day today so i apologize and we have the white titanium which i've never seen in person before so you probably stumbled up on this video because you're just indecisive as to which one to get or you probably even have it watching the video right now on your brand new iphone 15 pro but you just want to see what the colors look like i got you i went out the way to get it so you don't have to so today guys we're gonna see which one looks the best we're gonna compare them and yeah without any further ado let's start unboxing so first up we're gonna take a look at the blue titanium now this is what the box looks like this year you get this wallpaper on top we have white boxes even the pro devices we have white boxes and then we have the familiar apple unboxing experience so you just rip these open and i'll just do one two and then you want to slowly slide it up and boom there you go so this is the blue titanium iPhone 15 Pro guys inside the box you have the brand new USB-C cable so if you guys didn't know this year Apple switch over to USB type C which now works with all their basically every other Apple device that's out there right now except AirPods Max um, I'm in Canada so yes we got that beautiful sim card tray Apple stickers and that's basically it that's, that's literally the unboxing experience for all the devices. You don't get anything different. No different color braided cable, no different Apple stickers. That's it, so I won't go over the unboxing again. But this is it, blue titanium. And let's just go ahead and do the peel, gentle peel, but let's do it. Oh, satisfying, every time, every single time. So let's go ahead and boot this up, guys. And of course, this year, brand new display in terms of how it touches the edges. So it's almost like edge to edge. If you guys hold this phone in your hands, you'll feel how it feels. Like I definitely advise you guys to go to an Apple store, pick one of these phones up because me just telling you how good it feels in the hands is not gonna do it justice. But this is the blue titanium guys, SIM card slot right there. And just look at it from the back. It's pretty nice, but I'm not a big fan of this blue man. Like. I, I, I don't I just don't like it. I feel like it just doesn't fit my aesthetic, but there it is That's what it looks like and it's titanium this year So no more aluminum which is a little bit lighter take a closer look You can see all the Apple logo how the lights reflect on this blue titanium iPhone 15 Pro. What do you guys think? Take a look at the bottom You have that USB-C port and of course with these newer models you do have that new action button on the side right here. So the action button, you could map it to a lot of different buttons, but by default, it's set for the silent switch. But yeah, that's the blue titanium. Let's go ahead and look at, I think the white, because I haven't seen the white before. So this is the white titanium. This is what the box look like. Same little gradient-ish gra grainy wallpaper. We have the iPhone logo on the side. Same unboxing experience, so let's just breeze through this. And I feel like a lot of people went for the white or the natural titanium this year. And yes, this white, it looks nice. But the thing with getting white is that it's just so basic. You know what I mean? Like, yes, it's white, you know, nothing too much about it. You can't go wrong with it. You can't hate on white because it's just a white iPhone. USB-C cable, same contents in the packaging. So I'll open that. But let's just take a closer look at this white titanium. Of course, let's do the honors real quick. Oh, every time. Every time, it feels good every time, man. And of course, the same thing, same procedures. It feels good in the hands. I have pretty large hands, guys, so this feels like almost like an iPhone mini in my hands. It's 6.1 inches, but I'm just used to the Pro device. For example, over here, my daily driver, the iPhone 15 Pro Max. This feels more sturdy in my hands. I could still reach all the corners and everything, but a lot of people still love the smaller ones. And yeah, I feel like it just won't be too bulky in your pockets, so it might be a good option to go with the smaller versions this year. But let's take a look at the cosmetics real quick. So closer look at the lenses, the Apple logo, look at the sides, 
these edges are super smooth and curved off again it, feel, it just feels good in the hands like if you go caseless this year with the iphone 15 pro or pro max like i can't i can't wrong you the same thing with the 15 models as well it feels good the design language has changed and i'm here for it usb-c port speaker grill cutouts on the side power button of course the top we have the antenna bands on this side we have the action button volume rockers sim card slot and let's just take a closer look on this lens right here to show you guys even more in detail but yeah the silver i mean the white titanium it looks really nice you can't go wrong with it so to me this is up there in top three white titanium let's go ahead and look at the black so here it is black titanium iphone 15 pro let's quickly unbox this and don't worry i'm gonna show you guys in detail comparison as well nice b-rolls juicy b-rolls for you guys let's go ahead and unbox this oh i love how this matches oh yeah this is like who i said i'm daily driving the titanium but the black looks nice oh my god they was cooking with this black titanium sheesh and it feel the glass on the back feels so good man like ha ah, whoever got these today must feel good like i know i'm sound like i'm hyping it up but i i guess i just love tech you know what i'm saying like when it's in the hand it's different when you're feeling it in the hand it feels different man so here it is 15 pro black titanium Let's just get a close-up of this real quick. Look at the lens. Taking a look at the side. This one looks like it would take up a lot of fingerprints already. My hands are, I did lotion my hand before this, but I could already see like the fingerprints coming in. It's gonna be different compared to the aluminum, but yeah, this feels nice. Let's take a look at the bottom. USB-C cutout down here. Let's look at the side, that action button volume switcher and sim card slot what do you guys think are you used to eSIM or you wish you guys still had a sim card slot just like canada we're all here thriving with the sim card slot and of course we could still use eSIM if we want to as well so we got the best of both worlds but yeah this is the black titanium definitely top two in my books oh man it's, look it just reflects so nicely on the light this might be the one for sure but i know a lot of people don't like black because they think it's boring i could say the same for white look at the two right here yin and yang which one you choosing black titanium or white if it was up to me i would definitely go for the black titanium it looks so sleek mature and it's just you can't go wrong with it you slap any case onto this you're good to go now let's look at my favorite for the year i think this is the hit of the year the natural titanium iphone pro Oh my God, this is it. You guys are gonna see how good this one looks. All right, let's get it. Got that little brownish iPhone text. All right, it looks good on the background. I love it. Just look at this, man. Like, it's just, it's just, it's just a good shade of gray, natural titanium. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is it. If you don't get natural titanium this year, I don't know what you're doing. But guys, just look at this. Tell me it's not the best. Just tell me it's not the best. Moment of silence real quick. Ooh, one more time. Yes, sir. Let me, the smell of a brand new iPhone. It doesn't smell like anything. <laughs> but there we have it, guys closer look at the lens look at the apple logo wow it's nice <laughs> it's nice man and it's so light it's super light it's crazy look at the port quick look at the side right here and i feel like this version might hide fingerprints more compared to the other ones that we look at this natural titanium and white probably hide fingerprints the best that's the natural titanium what do you guys think we we looked at natural titanium the black we have to compare these two side by side so you guys can see this 
I'm going for the natural titanium all day, every day. <laughs> what do you guys think, right? Let me know because I really want to know which one are you picking? I'm going for the natural titanium. It gives earth tone vibes. It's just something new, something refreshing, and it hides the fingerprints. So I'm going to have to rock with it. But natural titanium, black titanium, white titanium, or this ugly blue titanium. Oh, I didn't even like seeing it. I don't know what they were thinking with that one. But what are you guys saying? Let me know down below in the comments which one you're picking, guys. Pause the video, comment down below. I'm, I have to go for the natural titanium. Next up, we have the black titanium, the white, and then the blue is in last for me personally. I also did a video comparing all the new iPhone 15 regular models right here. There's a ton of color options to choose from. So if you guys want to watch that video, make sure you click the pop-up whenever it's at the end of the video. But yeah, that was just a quick unboxing. But now let's just jump into more details to show you these new titanium devices in all its glory.